Hi, ji Well, GM has decided to close down its plant in Kunsan, South Korea, representing another blow to the port city on the west coast, which has already seen big job losses after the world's biggest shipmaker packed up and left. It's not just those who work for GM who are in a tough spot. As our Shin Semin reports, the fallout will affect contractors and every person whose business is connected to the plant. It's a grim new reality for Kunsan. Many were already struggling, but now they are likely going to go under if the U.S. auto giant makes good on its pullout decision. If a compromise is not reached with the South Korean government, the shutdown is projected to affect 50,000 people, the 15,000 employees, first and second tier suppliers, as well as their families and other residents in the small city on Korea's western coast. Kunsan has had a rough time of it of late, with Hyundai Heavy Industries shutting down its shipyard in the city just last year. GM facility accounts for nearly 6.5% of Cholabukto province's economic output. Its departure would be even worse for this region than Hyundai leaving. The bus drivers that ferry the GM workers to and from the factory say they are already looking for new jobs. There's no way out. I have kids to support and debts to pay. I don't know what I'm going to do. And it just doesn't end there. This relatively small industrial town of Kunsan is racked with uncertainty over fears that the economy will turn south due to some thousands of workers at risk of losing their jobs. Nearby shops and restaurants that mostly cater to GM workers are either slashing their operating hours or even just closing altogether. The property market is in the doldrums as well. Newly built residential buildings sit vacant and have done so for weeks, months even. Responding to the crisis, President Moon Jae-in has ordered the government to designate Kunsan as an employment crisis area, calling for urgent measures to help local residents. The move comes as GM and government officials in Seoul continue to try and thrash out a deal to save the factory. However, the city of Kunsan, with its run-down buildings and empty streets, will need more than just a quick fix. The residents here are desperate for a long-term solution to help them overcome their economic woes. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.